Hey, what's up guys? So some of you may have seen in the news recently that there was a driver in England uh, who got caught running laser jammers and was sentenced to prison for three months and fined 1,500 pounds or about $1,900. Additionally, there was another driver last year who got caught repeatedly driving past speed traps and flipping the birds to the officers, just kind of poking the bear unnecessarily, and he was sentenced to eight months in prison. Now, whenever we talk about laser jammers, what's always like the main thing that I'm bringing up? I've literally done a video talking about the most important aspect to know about running laser jammers. It's the fact that when you get shot with laser, the right thing to do is not to just continue to jam continuously, it's to slow down and disable the jammers. Slow down and disable the jammers. Uh, these guys were doing kind of the exact opposite. If you just drive by and allow the officer to never get a reading, well, you're gonna run into issues. Now, something to keep in mind is uh, these two situations were not here in North America. They were actually over in England. Laws can vary all over the world, and that's one reason that I focus here on North America as opposed to all the different countries. There's so many different things as far as countermeasures, radar and laser guns, frequencies that are used, and of course, laws as well. Now in England, obviously the penalties can be pretty harsh for running countermeasures. Here in the US, that's not necessarily the case. In fact, laser jammers are actually legal in most of the states here around the country. There are a couple states where laser jammers are illegal here, and if laser jammers are banned, I would not advise running them. Uh, now the penalties for running a laser jammer here, um, I've done a whole video talking about all this, but in short, the penalties are pretty minor. Uh, they're generally along the lines of a fix-it ticket, like having tint that's too dark or not running a front plate if you're supposed to. And in fact, the penalty for uh, speeding is actually a lot worse than running jammers. Now, nevertheless, if jammers are illegal, I wouldn't advise running one. Even if jammers are legal, well, if you want it to stay legal, you need to use your tool responsibly, which again, involves slowing down when the alarms go off in your car and disabling the jammers. It's even something you can practice ahead of time to really build it into your muscle memory so that you can kind of picture the alarms going off in the car and as soon as that happens, bam, foot on the brake, hand goes to uh, the kill switch and uh, you can maybe eyes on the rear view mirror to make sure the person behind you doesn't rear end you or you know maybe checking the speedometer and correlating that to your current speed and when it's appropriate bam your hand is already there you're ready to kill the jammer so it's something that you're going to want to build into your muscle memory so you don't have to think about it and you don't go deer in the headlights when your jammers come off when they go off foot on the brake ready to kill the jammers pro laser 3 interference detection only pro laser 3 ahead now, something that's interesting is if you go back and take a look at the photos and the videos of the guys who were caught in England, the laser gun never actually threw a jam code. If you take a look at the photos, you'll notice that it says E01. Now, E01 is the code for a laser gun not being able to register a speed. E07 is a jam code for LTI guns. E01 simply means the gun is unable to get a speed, and there's a variety of things that can cause that. And actually, let me show you real quick. Now, here's an LTI ultralight LRB. Uh, LTI makes laser guns that are in use all over the world, and it's easy to take a gun like this and hook it up to a camera to get photos and videos. Now, whenever you're shooting the gun, the speed of the car is gonna pop up in the viewfinder and on the LCD in the back, but uh, if for whatever reason it's unable to get a speed, let's say there's no car there, for example, on my wall, um, it'll just pop up on the back, E01. It's just an error code that says, I'm unable to get any sort of speed. It's different than a jam code. Um, it just means that for whatever reason, and there's many things that can cause it, the gun is unable to get a speed reading, so. Shoot it sideways, and again, no reading, right? E01. Now, if a gun throws this error, it doesn't necessarily, again, imply that you're being jammed. It just makes the officer suspicious of like, hmm, what's going on? Why can't I get a speed? Maybe I should investigate. And the whole idea is to maybe not necessarily draw unnecessary attention to yourself. So the idea is slow down and allow the laser gun to get a reading as normal. So anyway, just wanted to go over this with you guys. I know a number of you have messaged me about, uh, oh no, look at this, this guy got caught. And it's like, well, yeah, he was not using his laser jammers properly. And that's also something that applies overseas. That's not necessarily something that applies here in the US, but I think it's definitely good to talk about either way, just to better understand how all this stuff works, um, how to use your tools and how not to. So awesome. Thanks for watching. Let me know if this is helpful or if you guys have any questions. Uh, other than that, happy driving. Please use your tools responsibly and definitely drive safe out there. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.